to steal an ATM fall flat overnight when a newspaper delivery man catches would-be burglars in the act. Good evening. I'm Adrian Whitsett. I'm Melissa Fry. The suspects were able to leave but left behind thousands of dollars in damage at a convenience store near 98th and Giles. That's where KTV News Watch 7's Christina Engdahl joins us live. And Melissa, you can see behind me here that the windows are quite literally gone. That's because burglars broke them out to try to get to the ATM inside. But the way they tried to steal that ATM has police linking this incident to dozens more. I think they kind of pulled the chain from outside, so it caused all the damages right here. Damage that's devastating to Jessica Geary's family business, where she says a metal chain shredded part of this wall when burglars broke in overnight with their sights set on this ATM. I think there's few scratches, but there isn't that many. As you can see, the ATM is okay, but Jessica can't say the same for the storefront windows. I think they use like a hockey stick or something to like smash. Police say once they smashed their way inside the convenience store, burglars chained the ATM to the back of an SUV and tried to take off. We had a person who was delivering the newspaper uh, observe these individuals breaking into the business called 911. So, no payday for thieves this time, but police say this attempted burglary may be the latest in a spree of ATM thefts around the metro. Preliminarily, it sounds like it may be connected to the others. Uh, we'll certainly touch base with the other agencies and try to compare our notes with theirs and uh, try to tie this together. And there's been enough of these break ins. Even local business Heartland Glass Inc. says they don't get much of a break. It's not like it happens every day, but. It happens quite a bit, but yeah, it keeps us busy. On this job, estimating $6,000 in damages because this entire wall will have to be fixed. And when you're a small business, that's a tough bill to swallow. At least, no, they didn't touch anything else but the ATM. Even the ATM is fine, you know, so thankfully, just the damages is what he did. Now, La Vista police say the vehicle involved this time is an SUV. They think it's white or light gray with damage to the tail end. So if you know anything or saw anything, of course, call police. And as for the convenience store behind me here, they tell me they're installing more surveillance cameras, but this time on the outside of the building. Back to you. Thanks, Christina.